Hey, what's up, guys? <coughs> How's everyone doing? Let's, uh, let's get to animating this crab boy here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the references now. So I, I have the um, the first dude that we did, the shrimp, and then I got the big uka crab dude here. And those are gonna be my two references. And this character specifically, I'm gonna be animating at 40 frames, rather than this character who was originally, I think, 32 frames. So when I play the animations, these are going to be a lot slower than they were originally. But that's because this character is like, um, this is probably the slowest character that the Abyssal, uh, Abyssal monsters have. <laughs> does the Crabbo do the Stabbo? He does do the Stabbo with, uh, with, with his claws. He also vomits, and he also has um, an attack with the barnacles, like some like stressful, stressful, uh, like miasma type of stuff this is uh this is probably one of my favorite enemies it's like it's a it's a it's equivalent to the pelagic guardian in that um he's really tanky and hard to kill and he doesn't activate the he doesn't activate the stall penalty but he's also in my opinion the way i've set him up he's he's almost impossible to stall on so let's get to it let's start making these bones and um I have the classic four uh, four bones that every Darkest Dungeon character needs. Effects chest, effects dot, effects head, and then effects skill. Straight up uh, classic. And then let's let's get to animating this. This shouldn't this shouldn't be a very long stream because this character doesn't have much meshing. Most of the meshes are here, and then I gotta do some meshes here on these um these like uh seaweed seaweed looking things. But other than that, this should be a pretty simple character. So let's uh make that. Actually, let's make that shorter. So something like that. And there's the spine. And then the shell. The, yeah, the shell would be connected to the back. So let's do that. And then this is this is probably going to take a lot of time doing all of this because this is all one big piece. But that, that that shouldn't be too bad. So that's lower spine. I like the gross on top. He looks awesome. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, the barnacles. So the uh, uh, ignore this name. That's that was the starter name I had originally. This is called the abyssal dredger. And for those who don't know what a dredger is, dredging is like scooping the bottom of scooping the dirt from the bottom of the ocean. And usually that's either to like clear canals or it's like farming um, oysters. So this guy's a dredger. He like he's like a bottom feeder for for these um, abyssal creatures. So he has all these barnacles growing on him, and they kind of like affected him. So now he's like, uh, it's kind of like he's like a host to these uh, barnacle parasites. And um, yeah, he's 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 a cool enemy. I like him. I I, I liked how uh, how I how I designed him. And uh, he'll 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 look really funny when you when you like attack him and when he attacks like. His eyes don't close. His eyes don't blink at the same time. He has like trouble like controlling his um his body and stuff. It'll be cool. I think I think it'll be a fun enemy to fight. Hopefully. Okay, so that's connected. This is the shell. We'll just call that back. And then um this face is gonna be some some stuff. So let me think how I want to do this. Probably just uh, a bone for the head to start with. And then the lower lip, and then these uh, these sides of the lip, and yeah, probably one up here for the top of the lip as well. This will be uh, interesting to animate, just like the just like the shrimp dude. So this is his um, left side of the lip. Let's do that, <laughs> and then the right side. And then I gotta do like the eyelids and the eye itself for these. Since these are gonna be closing so 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 slowly. They're uh, I got I gotta put extra detail into those. So that's the bottom. Now let's do uh, let's see how do I want to do this. So the brow for sure. The brows and then the eyes. And then the lids. 
And I think that's everything I want for this. Maybe maybe some controls over here so it looks like he's breathing. I'll think about that. This is the this is a very complicated area of the face, but everything else is going to be super simple because it's all shells, so I don't have to worry about that. So this is brow right. Brow left and then a whole bunch of bones. Oh man. The right side of the eye. I'm happy with uh, the progress I made this week, though. I make, I'm making a lot more um, progress each week that passes. Like, I'm getting better at getting faster, which is great. So, best case scenario is I actually get this done before the, the color of madness, but you can, never, you can never tell exactly how much time you're ever going to have, so we'll see. That's, that's being optimistic. <laughs> if we can get this out before color of madness, that'd be cool. Um, so this is upper eyelid, right side. This is lower, lower eyelid, right side. Okay. And then same thing. Or, or at the very least, I want to try to get like a, a beta going. Because uh, I'm sure I'm sure I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna have everything done except for like uh, various various um, art bits, just like uh, variations and stuff for the backgrounds, and that that's gonna take a lot of time. But I'm saving that for the end because that's not really something essential to like the whole gameplay thing. This is what is this one? That's the lower eyelid. Oops. Lower eyelid, left side. Okay, well that's that's pretty complicated. Insane. That's fine. Okay, so I think I actually want to move the effects head down. Something, something like that, probably. That looks good to me. Okay. And then I got a key these so these are all these are all separate parts because they're shells so let's do that so abs and then I'll, I'll connect these ones to the hip actually so that's connected to the hip I think these are abs too I think that's why I called that and then this is abs one I'm pretty sure and then connected to here would be the sternum Uh, this side of the pecs, and then this side of the pecs. So that's sternum. And then... Right side. Left side. Okay. This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> I'll save that for last, though. So these ones, um... Let me think how I want to do this. I think I do want to have clavicles, so let's do that. And then connected to that would be the shoulder and then the arm itself. So I'll probably make that a mesh because these are actually the same part. So I might, I might make that like a super minor mesh since there's only two bones. But that'll be fine. And then the claw. And then connected to the claw is the... Um, the thumb for that claw. So there we go. Okay. So let's go name those now. So I've uh, begun naming the things it's like clavicle and then right side. I used to name them like right clavicle and left clavicle and I found that um, over time that just makes things a lot more messier than they have to be in terms of like finding what bones I need to. So I'm hoping that this new naming convention will um, help me stay organized while I'm animating. Hopefully. That's the idea at least. Okay. And then thumb. 
that's almost like that's almost like half of the rig done already in like 10 minutes which is great so the other clavicle and then there's not much meshing meshing that needs to be done so then we could just get through the animating but there's always something that there's always something that gets in the way that makes um this take a lot longer than it has to be and i'm sure it's gonna have to do with this right here because this is gonna be a lot of work we'll see And the humorous. The other claw. And the thumb. Okay, let's see. So these are actually a pair of arms that I'm going to have to animate as well. And those are connected to the lower spine. I'm not going to make shoulders for those ones though because they're pretty hidden. But we'll just have something like this. And then... There. And then this one should be equally as simple. Probably just, uh. No, I'll make it two bones. There we go. So let's see, what am I gonna name this? Uh, Humorous 2, there we go. And these could just actually be called arm. And then palm. This would be uh, the fingers. And then thumb too. Oops. And then same over here. left side no uh, this is right side and then there we go and then this is all just a hand so this should be good right let me just check something real quick cool okay Looks good. Um, let's do the uh, legs. So this is the hip. Um, so I want I want the legs to be separate from the body. So let's do that. That way they don't move when the uh, when the character moves up and down. So there's one leg. Uh, that's not a leg. This is a leg though. So let's do that. And then this one. There's actually uh, there's actually another like shadowy bit here that I'm gonna have to animate. That should that should be super simple though because um most most likely the player won't see much of that. And this one. And the same deal. Okay, so let's name those. Uh, this one is leg two left. This is leg one right. Leg two right. Leg one left. Okay, and then I just gotta name the thighs connected to two of the legs, wherever those were. Since there's only one on each side, this should I don't have to name these uh numerically. There we go. Uh, you probably don't want to be out before Color Madness, and so probably break mods. That's true, actually. Yeah. Beta testing, then. We'll, we'll aim for uh, beta, beta testing. Yep. Make it right after. Uh, right after it comes out, will be better. Yeah. Plus, they'll. Uh, They'll most likely have a bunch of um, new features, which will be great to mess around with. So let me think how I want to do this. I don't want this to be too complicated or else um, this will be a nightmare. 
So probably this is all just one one piece. I'll make it three bones. Okay. And then this will be two pieces. This will be one piece. Two pieces here. I want this to be dangling about, so let's do that. This as well. Um, okay, so this one. I'll have these just uh, animated together. This is a small piece. And um, I think these are far enough apart that having them animated separately would be fine. So let's do that. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff. Well, let's do it. So I think I'm going to start here and name it this way. What do I call these? I'll call them vines. That works for me. So vine 2. And then as it goes upwards, the second number increases. Ah, crap. I forgot to do this one. So I do want this one to be separate as well. Line 3, 1. So yeah, I guess we're going to be animating some vines today. Will be cool. Uh, let, let me think here. So, yeah, that's literally everything that needs to be rigged is gonna be rigged after this, after I name all these. So, then it's mesh time. These ones. Okay. I think we're gonna have fun animating this dude. I want to try to make him look as um out of it as possible. Like he doesn't even know he's in a fight. I think the, the tricky part is going to be having this slow animated character look good with the shrimp dude as well. When they're in the same combat. Since the, it's most likely that you're going to run into both of them in the same party often. This is number 10. That's a lot of bones that I gotta put into one mesh. It's going to be insane. I need to remember not to put spaces. Then I just gotta do these hanging bits, and then I'll be good. Okay, so this is the right side. <clears throat> I'll call these weeds. Okay, there we go. That's the whole skeleton done in 20 minutes. Cool. Well, let's go mesh. Okay, so... Actually, no, I gotta go connect all these first. That's what I gotta do. So... Just about everything goes into hips first. And then I'm gonna connect the effects dot to, uh... The upper spine. Where's that? Or should I? No, I'll connect it to the sternum, actually. So, where's sternum? Okay. 
There it is, okay. It'll be connected to the sternum, so when the sternum moves, that moves, which, is, which should be fine. Okay, where are the abs? There they are. Okay, so... I think these are the right ones. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, let's see. The Krusty Boy, because he is a crustacean and also got barnacles, huh? Yep, Krusty Boy. From the Krusty Crab. Coming to, um... I don't know. Steal your steal your monies. So these are the these arms here. So let's uh, find those. Where are those connected? Those are the lower spine, if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay. So that's the left one, and then the right one is right. Big back. Let's put that uh, wherever it was. The whole body. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna connect that to the, uh, the hips. Yeah, like, yeah, let's just keep it the hips. So, the claws. Where's the other claw? Right here. Okay. Let's do thumbs as well. What's up, put it, Lay? Um... He comes to crush. He comes to crush, but mostly he's here for the barnacles. The barnacles are like magical barnacles, so they cause like a whole bunch of stress. This is uh, this is the uh, this is my, this is this is this group's like um stress dealer is this character, and he's he's the exact opposite of every other stress dealer in the game in that he's tanky and slow, rather than fast and squishy. Back to the bones. So, he'll, uh, he'll, if, if you could kill him turn one, then I'd be, I'd be pretty surprised. That, that would take a lot of crits, because he, he's, he's a pretty tanky dude. What's up, Dexy? How you doing? Luckily, luckily, Bones did not take us an hour like last time. I'm still surprised we got the other one done so quick. Considering how much time we spent doing meshes. And the net. That net was insane. Okay, these legs. Let's just move them all to the leg section. So, yeah, and then... Like two... Yeah, those would connect there, yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's just move all the face stuff to wherever the face was. And... Yeah, okay. I bet it's doable, Mark Comp. Yeah, definitely, like, uh... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that'd probably do it. Um, yeah, if you get, like, a minus protection mark, you could definitely do it. If, if that's like your focus, if you really want to just kill this one dude right here. Okay, where are these? Here they are. Okay, so that's all the all the things connected where they need to be, which is great. So let's uh, just make sure nothing breaks when I do that. Yeah, there he goes with his claw. And this should be, yep, cool. And then in this mess, yeah, there's his head. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like everything's good. Double shield breakers, yeah, yeah, that's a good way to do it too. Mark Comp doesn't like crabs. Crabbo on a stick, yeah. Casually being more and more hyped for your mod daily, that's great to hear. I'll probably, I'm gonna aim to try to get like some form of beta out for color, color of badness, but, um, 
Yeah, it was a good point that there might be things in the new mod that might break the game because it, it's it's bigger than the shield breakers, and they're definitely adding a lot of new things, so it might it might cause some issues for for current mods, but we'll see. <clears throat> So, time to mesh. I think I'm going to start with the face, because that's going to be easier than this this whole mess right here. <coughs> so, let's go do that. Let's start with the brow. Yeah, let's start with the brow. <coughs> Sorry about that. So... Uh, he's a pretty nasty shade of brown though. He's all dirty from digging up digging up clams and oysters on the bottom of the ocean. There we go. Let's uh put bones here, here. This is the brow. That should be good. And then this brow as well. And some right there. And one right there. That should be good. Let's delete these outer edge ones. Okay, and then let's mesh this. So this is um, the top of the lip. Okay. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. So I think I'm going to include the head on this one so the head can control some of this top, some of this top stuff. So this will probably end up being four bones, which will be fine. Okay. That should be good. So it auto calculated, which might actually be a bad thing. I don't think this has any control anywhere. So let's put some control up here. Just light controls. Okay, and let's see how it looks when I move these. That's decent. I don't I don't think I want this part to move as much though. When these brows go down. Yeah. So let's go fix that. Otherwise, um it looks like it did a good job. So let's just control these. I think this is gonna be good. Let's see. We could use uh, some more control. Same there. So let's do that. And here as well. I think I'm just gonna give it full control. Will that be good enough? Let's try a little here. See? Looking decent on that one. I could use, I could probably fix it up a little bit more. I 
I could use a little fixing as well. So let's do that. And uh, what was the need here? That's right. Let's see if this does good. Okay, let's see. Could use a little bit more smoothing there. That looks decent. I like I like this one. Let's try let's try to fix this one though. So let's see, how do I fix that? Maybe less control. Maybe that'll maybe that'll do it. Some more here for the yellow. Okay, let's see. I think that's good. Let's see how this one looks when I move it. Actually, I don't think that's ever going to move anyways. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably never have that move, so that's fine. Okay, let's do this side of the face. <laughs> um, just gotta make sure these teeth are fine. This part's almost never going to be seen. Okay. Um, let me think here. So, over here definitely I need bones for the lips. Some in the middle there. I need to separate these teeth so they don't um, stretch when the lip moves. Some more there. Did you manage to add music to your area? I did. It uh, uses um, what's it called? The one when you go on the mission against the brigands, the brigand wolf. That that song, Town in Chaos, I think it's called. When it plays, I'll let you know. And let's add bones so that the eyes can blink. And sure, let's add bones here. And here. That's a lot of points, but I think it'll be fine. Speaking of which, I'm going to go add two more bones. I'm going to add... Um, One's on the side, so it looks like he's breathing. So let's do that. Connect it to the head. So, breathing left. <coughs> Should be good. So now let's uh, connect those to the face. Okay, so what do I want connected to the face? So, head for sure. This side of the lip. Um, not that one. Lower lip. Upper lip. These eyelids and breathing. And I think they'll be good. Seven bones in total. Okay, let's try it. Auto mesh. Oh, 
it'll did okay. It'll just need some smoothing out and then it'll be fine. It probably gave a lot more control to the head around this area. That's probably why that's so messed up. It's fine, whatever. Okay. Easy fix. This one would increase in size. Let's see how that looks. So that has a lot more control than I would like. That's fine. So let's go fix. Oh man, this is going to be a lot to fix. Okay, so... There's like infinity control everywhere. Okay. I think I'm just going to go and purge a lot of this. It might actually just be easier to go back and um, <coughs> remove a lot of this control. This is pretty insane. Let's see if I can fix it though. And then make sure this one has full control on all these points. Same down here. Except this one shouldn't have as much control over here, I don't think so. So let's fix. So it looks super janky when we go back to see how it looks, but that'll be fine. Because it's better than having to worry about these like super tiny little little um, influences all the bones have everywhere. Like this. Okay, I think um, that was everything. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Easy fix. It's all easy. It's all easy fixes though, so that's fine. So let's start up here. Um, this needs more control. Oh man, that's hard for me to see. Red, red versus purple. That's like super hard for me to see. And then down here as well. This will look super, super weird, but we'll see how we can do it. And then this one as well. Okay. And then what did I need to change here? Needs less control, that's what it was. There. Less control over here as well. Okay, let's see how I did. Definitely better, but this needs to all change. That one doesn't move at all. So I'm going to try to remove control on these two. So let's just go do that now. So let's control here. And up here. And 
let's try to give a little bit more control back to yellow over there. So this needs control over here, is what it was. even give control all the way over here. And maybe a little bit up here. Okay, let's see. So I'd like it to have more control there. That's what it's looking like. And here. And something needs to change there. It's this, okay. Should be easy though. And then it needs to have more control going over here. And up here as well. Okay. Even more. So let's give it some more. And then I actually want to give this more control back. Okay, hopefully that looks good. This needs to change. So, what was that? Let's fix it. What was the thing I needed to fix? This right here, that's right. And then something over here was wrong. Let's see that again. That actually looks pretty okay up here. I don't mind this. I don't mind this like uh, folding into itself. This is a. Uh... Why is it happening? Maybe it's because now it has too much control. So let's try reducing that. And then something had to change here. See how it goes. How does it look without all those bones? It looks pretty okay, actually. I like that. Maybe a little more control there. Maybe that's 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 about all it needs though. Okay, let's see. Otherwise it's looking really good actually. <clears throat> I like that. It's cool. Okay, how do these these look? I didn't even check. Controls way too much around here.
would be really fun if in a few streams, in a few streams you uh, showed a bit of gameplay and did a fight against your new monsters. Uh, hold on. That'd be cool. Maybe if uh, E5 beats Countess, we'll do that. We'll we'll do bi-weekly streams. Is that what it's called? Twice a week? So one's like an animating stream, the other one's like a gameplay stream. Need to fix that. Please look good. Okay, so there's way too much control again. I'm just gonna move this eye. Interesting. I think it works. Should be good. It's not gonna blink too much, so that should be that should be fine. And then the final bone is this one. Let's see how that looks. take more control away from it up here pog champ yep I mean I did say uh, I was gonna do some video thing if, if e5 beat the countess in one run I guess a stream is equivalent to a video Okay, everything looks cool on this character. Oops. Hmm, it's collapsing on itself there now. That's uh, because it doesn't have any control. Okay, let's see that. Let's fix up. You're just a little bit over there. There we go. Okay. Time for the other side of the face. There we go. Nice and easy. And then just got separated it out for the mouth. Hopefully, hopefully E5 doesn't beat it in one run. <laughs> that, that would be uh, a lot for me. But it'll be fine. If he does, then I'm going to keep my word. Definitely stream twice a week. Okay. And I gotta add bones for the eye. wrinkle over here and some more here yeah that should be good okay so let's connect that to uh, the appropriate bones which would be the head upper lip left lip lower lip 
the breathing control, and then these two eyelids. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, this just looks like a nightmare. So let's let's just remove all that. That that auto mesh was just horrible. I think I prefer auto mesh when it's only two bones, because it never does. It almost never does a bad job with two bones, but when there's like more than ten bones, holy crap! It just has a hard time. The eyelids. So let's fix it. Okay. I can't even imagine what it's going to do up here. Holy, holy crap. Undo. Okay. Should that be good? Okay, these two need some as well. So this is gonna be super ugly, but we can we can make it not so ugly. Okay, so let's go back and make it not ugly. So, this should probably have control here. Um, let's see. That's a really harsh transition, so let's fix that best we can. A lot of really harsh transitions, actually. Okay, and then... Need to fix this. Should be fine. I'll worry about that later. For now, I can just do this. And this needs to be controlled by something. There we go. Let's see if it made it at least better. I'd say that's getting there. It definitely needs more control down here and something over here 
Yeah, this this big pile of stuff there. So let's fix that. And this. So hopefully this will make it look infinitely better. Okay, we'll see. Let's let's go check it out. It's looking good here. Now it needs less control. Let's fix that. And something up here has way too much control, I think. Oops. Okay, let's see. Oh, has a lot of control here too. I don't want that. It's mostly because of this one bone here. Some of this too. Okay, let's see. has a lot of control here and this is getting better though needs a less control and then something down here was wrong let me check that again that's right all of this because it has super control here. Okay, let's see if uh, that made it better. So, this right here, that's the problem. Now it has way too much control. Okay, that's looking like much, much, much better now. Technically, this mouth isn't going to open that much, though, so I guess I shouldn't worry about it too much. At least this side of the mouth won't open that much. I just gotta fix uh, that eyelid. Why is that? I think it's this. See? Yep, that's much better. Let me see if I can do something about that. Yeah, it's this. So, what happens if I bring that back? It looks okay. Let's open his mouth. <laughs> there we go. So the mouth definitely can't be super open. That's about as open as it's probably gonna get. And then it would. It might close more. Nah, nah. I think I'm gonna leave him like gaping like that to start with. Okay, so let's fix the additional bones here, like the eyes and this. See what happens when I move it. Move it. Looks fine. 
Maybe less control up there, actually. Okay. Cool. That controls way too much. There we go. I remember you mentioned Ukas being one of the few enemies that are from the base game. Will there be? Will they be their champion version, or have you made a new darkest version from? They'll still be their champion version, but I have it set up right now so that they only appear in hallways. And they're they're pretty rare. Okay, that is control up there, which is unfortunate. I don't, why does it have control all the way up here? I don't understand. Maybe I meant to do yellow and I accidentally did the lower lid instead. That could be fine. That's not fine at all though. It could lose more. It could lose control on this bottom side, though. So let's do that. Okay, let's do it. Let's move this eye out of the way, so I can see what it looks like when he blinks. Pretty derpy, but that's fine. Let's see if I can fix it though. Mostly this. I think I think this is what's causing it to not blink correctly. Maybe if I rotate it, let's see. Rotating these are hard. This is this lid. It's pretty wonky, wonky blink, but it'll work. Okay, I'll be back. We gotta take a bathroom break. Okay, I'm back. Let's see. I've explored the PSD files of your heroes, and I must say you do a lot of different versions. It's 
quite impressive. How much time do you take for one enemy before making the, for, before having the colorless art? Um, it depends. Sometimes the creature's done in like one try. Sometimes it takes like a dozen. The bosses are the stuff. Like the boss monsters are the ones that take um, forever because I keep doing like different iterations on them. But these like uh, s uh, simple characters, like the basic enemies, they usually I can usually bust them out on the first try. I think this shrimp guy took about two tries because I wanted to mess around with how I wanted to put the uh, where I wanted to put the eye, and um, I think this guy was a uh, first try. I think I did this guy first try, and and I liked the way he looked, so I, I didn't change anything. Nom nom nom. Look good. Cool. This side will be fine. And then these should look good. Okay, so that should be all of the face. And then now for the king mesh, this one. Oh man. So I'm gonna try to re refrain from putting a whole bunch of bones in this thing. I think I'm just gonna have these as the focus points. That way I don't have to worry about a super insane mesh. I'm not even gonna put too much into these. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so... I want a double layer on these to make sure they don't interfere with the rest of the shell. Now this one. Because I think that's going to be the big problem. There's so many of these things I have to manipulate, but I don't want them to uh, mess with the like the the hard parts of the shell like all of these barnacles and stuff we'll see I could go back and adjust it if I need to though what about the colors how long do they take it's uh, it's the part I have the most trouble with I think um it actually doesn't take me long to do colors a lot of the a lot of the um stuff that I I have troubles with is picking good colors so that's what I spend most of my time doing is trying to find like a good color scheme and once I find one I like I uh start coloring coloring's not that hard for me I uh, cuz like when I think of all the crab the crab people that I'm making I always think of them as red but I don't want them to all be red because then a lot of them would start looking too close to each other, and I don't want that. So I settled with this, um, this, like, scion blue. Which I like. I like this color. Okay, let's do this a little bit as well. There we go. Oh man, this is gonna be a lot of work. Hopefully, it just doesn't auto mesh. That would that would probably be the best result. But if it auto meshes, it's gonna be a nightmare. And 
this one. Okay, there we go. And that's all of them, and I just gotta make sure that the uh, mesh itself is okay. Oops. So I think as long as I have the, the, the backbone itself control most of this, I don't have to worry about uh, these controlling things I don't want them to control. This should all be good. Oh, these are gonna these are gonna start interfering with each other though, so I gotta worry about that. So complicated. Let's delete these ones. Oh man. This is gonna be insane. I think this should be fine now. Hopefully. Okay. Let's hope it's uh, let's hope it's okay. But I'm expecting I gotta go back and do a lot of changes. And with this many bones, eventually it's gonna recycle the colors, and one of them is gonna be yellow. Just like the backbone, so that's gonna be a pain. Look at all those bones. Oh no. That's completely fine. That means I just have full control then, which is great. So let's do that. I'm going to rough it out first, just to get a feel of um, how it controls. These are going up there, that might be a problem, I'll see. I'm, I'm just going to check right now actually. No, it's fine, okay good. I don't have to worry about that. This is controlled here. This is going to get a little messy because it's so close to each other. Hopefully it's not too bad though. And this one... That should be good. It's unfortunate that this has to be so tedious, but it'll be it'll be good once we get done. Okay, so I can't put controls there because that'll just look bad. Oh, 
Oh, this one's the yellow one. Darn it. That one controls a lot, too. Okay. Um, so let's go give yellow its control where it need be. be a freaking nightmare. Okay, there we go. This is... That might be too dangerous. Let's see if it is, though. Yeah, it is. Okay. I can give that its controls when I need to. And then I gotta do these ones. Oh man. Nightmare mesh, here we go. At least this isn't a character that needs a lot of meshes. It just has one really horrible mesh that I gotta deal with. So I can't give control there or else it's going to do a whole bunch of crazy things. Okay, so I got to go rough, roughly test these to make sure they work decently. So let's go see. That's controlling down here. Let's fix that. And why is that though? It's probably this bone. That's probably what's causing it. this, that's what's causing it. Okay, so now I'm just controlling that one to not break itself. Okay, so I can I can fiddle with that and make it work, that's fine. This is not fine though. Okay, so this one won't be able to move as far. No, oh, that should be fine though. Let's remove control there. So far nothing nothing's broken extremely hard though, so that's fine. What's up? Keep knocking, Doc. How you doing? We're actually uh, almost—we're not almost done, but we're—we're we're near the final parts of this where we can start animating, so we can get to the fun—the fun part. But right now we're working with like the monster mesh, the monster mesh here, which has like a billion, a billion points and then a whole bunch of bones attached to it, and I gotta be really careful not to break it. That looks good. I could remove control here. That would be ideal.
definitely remove control on this one. Okay. I think that's fine for a wiggle. Control down here. And control down here. This will probably need to lose, con lose control as well while I'm at it. This one actually has like no control though. That's weird. Wonder why. Oh, it's because this one's also yellow. That's why. That's, that's kind of dumb. I keep forgetting. It's unfortunate that they both have to be yellow. That's cool. Good enough. That's fine except for this. And that's controlling up here. Which is kind of weird. I guess they'll just uh, control each other then. That's fine. I just have to make sure I have it animated in a way that doesn't make it noticeable. I'm sick, I got the Crimson Core DLC, that's great to hear, dude. Be prepared though, it's 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 a really hard um, DLC. It's definitely harder than a lot of the vanilla content. What's up, uh, Red Reaper Addiction? Welcome to the to the stream. We're um, nearing the final parts of the setup, setting this up for animation, and then we can start actually getting into real animation. We just have to we just have to set up the controls before we do that. And right now, this right here is like the hardest control that I have to set up because there's just so many things. Okay, so otherwise these look fine. It's just this little bit right there, which I can, which I can work around, which is, which is good. Okay, let's remove control down there. Let's see this. So I want to not have it move as much on the bottom there. So let's have that not move. Okay. I love animation, 3D animation. Yeah, I'm not I'm not super into 3D animation, but I love 2D animation. I can understand the appeal of 3D though. Like um I like I like going back and looking at a lot of the uh the action poses and um like uh animations they do for Overwatch cuz I just love those those are just so, so freaking good. Okay, let's remove control. Like, I wish, I wish the, I wish I could get into a game like Overwatch. Because I love the animation, but it's not, it's not the, it's not the type of game for me. Let's see if I can get away with a little more control up here. Just a little. It's good. I like that. Definitely, yeah. I'll be alright-ish. I've done countless long champion runs. Or countless long champion runs in the ruins. Good luck, dude. Be prepared, though. Some of the some of the bosses can really get you. I know, I know they did uh, for me. Let's see how this looks. That's a decent control. Maybe, uh... Let's just go back and do blends. I think that would be good. That would probably solve a lot of the issues that these have right now. It's so hard for me to see. Purple versus blue, holy crap. That just kills my eyes. And then this needs to blend. There we go. 
I'm 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 okay with these being not great controls because I don't I'm not expecting these to move like a whole bunch. And they're also not like a huge detail. They're not like a super huge um animation detail for the character. It's just a lot of uh, extra movement to make it look nice. Oh my god, purple and blue again. Oh no. Hopefully that's good. I know exactly what you mean. What what are you going to animate? So I'm animating uh, this crab dude right here. So this is the crab dude that we're animating for today. I do these streams every week. Um, this was the first week. We've done a, we've done like a like a like a cultist with a whip, and then we've done a like a like a mon a monster character with a, with a trident and, and a net. That was last week's. Uh, enemy for the cove, I think. Uh, it's it's like cove plus. You can think of it like that, like a more difficult version of the cove. So yeah. So this is like the one of the this is like one of the factions are like fish people. But um, they're primarily crustaceans, so it's shrimps and then crabs. And I think I have uh, a few others in there, like lobsters and stuff. Uh, I only say that because uh, I said something about Cove Plus. Yeah, Cove Plus. That's that's the easiest way to think of it. Level 6 dungeon with a lot of stuff, yeah. There's a lot of things in there. I'm, I'm making a whole bunch of trinkets that are deliberately OP because they're like impossible to get. That's the idea. Like these are trinkets you can't get early at all. You have to you have to play in this dungeon for a while to get some of these trinkets. So I want to make sure they're actually powerful enough to justify going into a dungeon this dangerous and working to get them. So that's what it's going to be. It's just going to be a whole bunch of like super awesome trinkets that are locked behind this insane dungeon. What's up, Dags? Everything is looking awesome. Thanks. Oh yeah, the bot. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think it's um been too bad so far. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't um smite you again. That would suck. Okay. Uh, this should be fine. This just needs a little bit of work. See how it looks. This actually controls some stuff up here I don't like. Well at least um at least this this didn't give me as much trouble as the net. The net was insane last week. This one's actually been pretty tame. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see. Can we get trinket teasers later on? Perhaps on the Patreon for $5 subs every now and then. Um, maybe. We'll see. Okay, let's remove um, control up here because I don't want it to do that much. And let's add that control back down here. Okay, let's see. That's a really hard control there. So let's fix that. This should be fine. That's decent. Good enough. Okay, let's try removing control of that bottom one. Crab of Barnacles. What's up, Arngrim? Yeah, 
This is the Barnacle Crab. This is actually uh, the stress dealer for the Abyssal creatures. And it's the opposite of every other stress dealer in the game in that it's tanky and slow rather than squishy and fast. Download, you need to do uh, do uh, animations and stuff. Yeah. Cool, dude. I've actually... uh. Uh, like I, I've downloaded Unity and checked it out, but I haven't done, I haven't done much with it. So should be, should, should be good. Maybe. Let me see what, uh, let me see if I can do any more with this. Make it a little better. I think that's fine. Okay, good. So this will probably only go this way. It looks decent when it goes in that direction, so that's fine. Good enough. Let's see if I can give it a little more over here. That's good enough. That's a pretty harsh transition. It's mostly because it has so much control there. Okay. Still has a little bit too much control. Try more there. Should be fine. That's fine. That's good enough. Okay. Let's get more control. Okay, so then this one is good. Okay, so there. The shell's done, finally. Okay, so that's everything. That's a lot of bones in the face. Because he's got a lot of things going on there. Okay. Okay, so there's just a few... I, there's actually just a few more meshes for these. They're super simple, like this arm right here. This should be uh, easy. Let's do that. Just some simple meshes and then and then we can get to animating. Should be good. Okay. And then this part. And I want to make sure that these are separate. And let's uh, let's move these a little bit so they're tighter to the um, mesh. Okay, and that should be good. I think I'm gonna add more bones here, actually, more points. Now to delete these uh, edge ones, and then bind that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, so it auto meshed. It looked like it did a pretty horrible job because of this, all of that over there. So 
so I guess we're gonna fixing it. Okay, so let's see. That's not bad. Let's uh, fix this up here. I can deal with that. That I gotta fix though. Okay. Hopefully this is good. Okay, let's see. So it's pulling that, which is unfortunate. Why is it pulling that? Maybe it needs control. That's good enough, actually. I like that. Okay, good enough for the hand and hand over there. So let's do this one. This one should be even more simple. Yeah, because it's literally all black, so I don't have to worry about much here. Okay, and then this. And then delete these. Okay. So one, two, three. These bones are pretty off from the arm, but that's fine. Given that this is most likely never going to be seen anyway. That's fine. Okay, there we go. That's good enough for hand movement there. Okay, good enough. Um, and then these are meshes as well that I gotta fix or find. So let's do that. These are super simple though because they only have two bones. I think this is gonna be it after I do these two legs. And then we can actually get to animating. Okay. And then bind those to the two bones. Calculating. Didn't calculate, which is fine. Let's 
just good enough. And then let me just make sure this is going to be the final one. Looks like it, so... After this, we can get to animating. Here we go. How long has it been, though? Oh, just a, just a, about two hours. T about 15 minutes shy about, something like that. Which is good. That means we're uh, making really good progress. And I don't expect the animation process to give me much trouble on this one. Let's delete those. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. So I actually have to go back and fix that because I don't want it to, to deform this at all. Much better. Okay, and then let me just look it over one more time to make sure that's everything that needs deforming, and it looks like it. Oh crap, the body, the whole body needs to deform as well. Okay, so I gotta do that. But it's it's almost all black, so this should uh, probably be as easy as the legs. This part doesn't even matter, actually, because you're never gonna see it. It's mostly uh, over here when the torso bends. That's that's what really matters on this. Something like that. Yeah, one spine, two spine. So this should be good. This should actually be all we need. And then it'll connect. Spines for sure. And let's throw the hips in as well. Okay, so it auto calculated. Let's see if it did a good job. Not really. Probably gave red control where it needs it. Except for up here. I don't know why I gave it control up there. That's how it looks. That is control down there now, which is weird. Oh, it's because of this bone right here. So the hip actually needs to control this then. I think everything's good now. This little bit of movement's fine. Okay, so I think this uh, complicated... This is actually really complicated now that I look at it. It's mostly because of all this stuff in the face. Okay, let's uh... Okay, I think we're ready to go to animating, so let's do that. Uh, let me just move these uh, a little bit farther away.
By the way, uh, did you see that S Purple's uh, second mod was released? I did. In beta right now, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's uh, key these up. Let me think how I want to do this. So I'm going to start at 20 and move these, but I think I'm going to end up... Actually, I think I'm going to try right here, actually, because I want him to like look like he's having trouble. He's like He's got this heavy shell, so I want to make it look like it's a heavy shell. So I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set the anima uh, the the animation frame here for the uh, for the body. So let's see uh, let's see how do I want to move hips? I think I think he's gonna go up. And I gotta set the the curve. That's a lot of movement. So let's uh, tone that down. I think I'm okay with that. Let's uh, make it so I can't click images. <laughs> Bartle barnacles add even more weight. Also, also apologies. Sometimes chat bugs me with it. With sometimes chat bugs with me. No problem, dude. Yeah, yeah. All these barnacles. Yeah, that's a good point, though. They'll definitely be super freaking heavy. I think I can make that work. Hmm. I think I'm going to move these back just a smidge. I think that's fine. Let's try that and let's try rotate rotating the head. It's gonna be hard rotating it because it's a because it's like uh just want just like a point rather than an actual bone. So rotating this is gonna be a little finicky. But it's all good. I think I moved it. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's uh reduce this one's rotation. And the head as well. I think I'm gonna have to use this instead. Yeah. I'll use this instead because it's, it's really hard to control the point. getting there. It's going in a direction I like at least. I think I'm gonna have this actually move forward. Let's 
Let's try some offsets. See if that does anything. Nah. Let's try it throughout the body. Uh, he does look impressive. You said he was a stressor. Yeah, he, this is a this is a stress dealer. He like does like barnacle magic. That's his, that's his uh, that's his stress damage is barnacle magic. Check out what crab boy over here is doing. Oh, he's on he's on frame 23 and he's a he's a heavy dude so I, th I think I'm gonna try that too actually I'm gonna put it on uh, frame 23 rather than 25 let's turn off the offset I like that Cool. Obviously, I gotta fix these arms so they don't swing, swing like that. Yeah, let's try. Let's try doing some stuff with the arms. Let's see how this uh, this crab dude does. It. So they're offset. Yeah, they're offset. So I'll have to offset these after I do it. It looks like he's. It looks like it's still uh, animated on frame, frame 23. So let's do it. He goes up. So let's make the claws not go up, but rather down. Okay. I want to have this uh, move up and down as well, so I gotta go back and do that later. Okay, so I don't really like the movement of these arms, so I'm gonna try to fix that. I think I'm gonna have it do this instead. I think this one. So let's fix it. So I don't really like it that much, but uh, I'll, I'll figure something out as I go. Speaking of which, I forgot to mesh these, so let's go back and mesh those real quick. Uh, simple two bones, so it should be, should be pretty good. Okay, and then yep, there we go. And then I just gotta attach those. One of the mini boss concepts got me really interested. The one that looks similar to the sculptor. Oh yeah, the the three dudes. Yeah, that's a mini boss. There's a lot of mini bosses, and that's one of them. It connects with the sculptor though.
see if I can fix that. Then remove little controls there. Looks good. Let's do this side. It looks like I made an artifact, so let's uh, remove that through the mesh. Okay. You think I should reveal it on E5 stream soonish? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what I reveal next. So let's bind it to the two bones. Okay. Oh, didn't calculate, but that's fine. That should be good. Nope. So this should be good. Not really. Okay, that looks good. Except for this. How can I fix that? There we go. See why I don't like it. Maybe this. I think it's the head turn actually. I don't I don't really like that head turn. So let's remove it. I think it's I'm gonna have the head actually stick out. I think that's what I wanna do. Maybe a little more subtle than that. Let's add that mouth, uh, the mouth opening now. I think it's an okay time to do that. Just get an idea of what it looks like. So I want to try to make it uh, somewhat more subtle. Cool. Still iffy about these claws. Let's do the back. Can't select images. Okay. 
What's up, Cogfog? Buka Crusher looks real sleepy. Yeah, dude. He's not all there. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's no good. I think it's an offset I need. Let's try it. Oops. No. Okay, so now that's too much movement. Maybe it just maybe it just has to be super subtle. keep messing with it I really like the kelp on his head yeah <laughs> he's, uh, he's got a lot of things growing on him for sure try to make this not look funny it's looking pretty funny You need to have it. Oops. Have it at 20 instead. Let's see. Nah, doesn't look good. Let's just have it be super subtle for now until I figure out, figure out a solution. Okay, so move it over. Okay, um... I'm gonna try some, some stuff with these claws. First, let's try moving them here. Offsetting. Movements are too close with the body. Oh, it's not even it's not even offsetting properly. He looks like he's not in control of his arms. I like it though. A little more inwards, as if the rock on his head is the hood. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha, yeah. Okay. Let me try some stuff with the body first. I want to get a good movement here first. That's like the main stuff right now. The head the head's uh okay, it's just the body I'm trying to figure out. So let's let's see.
try a movement that's less this way and more upwards. I actually want to redo these arms. I think, I think it would benefit from movement, with more exaggerated movements in these arms. So let's undo those. go back and uh, fix these okay I'll be back I'm gonna take a quick uh, bathroom break and then hopefully when I come back y'all I'll have new new fresh eyes Okay, I'm back. Let's see. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I like it. I'm gonna mess with the head now. See what uh, some movement there would do. If anything, maybe it's not enough movement. Or maybe he doesn't have enough, like, uh, pauses. Cause I'm trying to make this guy look like he's uh, having trouble like thinking properly, but he has a lot of movement going on. This is moving a lot. Let's fix that. He's getting there though, not twitchy enough for a stress dealer. I guess that's true. He'll have he'll have um things going on in his face. And these all these all move around as well. <laughs> um okay. I'm, I think I'm gonna refrain from from animating this back for now. Just mess around with some other things. I'm 
after messing with the head. See what uh, having that move around does. Getting there though. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back and edit the body for more movement. Maybe I just have to do it here actually. Let's try these, the claws. Okay. Yeah, they go pretty insane on those. Let's just copy those over. Do some funny stuff with this claws here. And I'm probably gonna offset one of them. Almost certainly, actually. I'll probably do it with this one. Hoping to catch one of these streams. What's up, Calamity Cats? How you doing? When you mentioned a new Lamia trinket was a part of this mod, yeah, it is a moonlit idol. It's a cool item. I like it. It uh, it's definitely OP, but it's it's a reasonable type of OP. Let's try having one of the claws open a lot more. Let's try this one. Hmm. I think I'll keep it like that. I like them. For now, at least. See how these look. Let me try a more subtle curve on these. Let's see what a subtle curve does for it. I'm liking where that's going. I think an offset would uh, work well without the exaggerated mouth movement. So let's try it. Maybe not. Let's 
mostly that it lines up almost exactly with the movement of the arms. I want to try to s spread out a lot of the movements. Speaking of which. Let's mess around with some of these. Keep messing around. Uh, will this one have a bleed move? Oh yeah, definitely. He uh, pinches you with his claws, so that's the bleed move. He has a bleed move, a blight move, and a stress move. Technically, this one would be the slower one because it has more barnacles on it. God, he has clavicles. Maybe I can mess around with those. Let's mess around with those. It is horror though, the stress move is horror, <laughs> so I guess he does have all the dots. It also causes stumble, so I guess he has literally every dot in the game. Cool, okay, let's, let's make his eyes blink super slowly, so I gotta figure it out again. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Time to make an eye blink. They'll blink at the same time now, but I'm going to offset them so that they blink at separate times. <laughs> crab magic somehow. He has all the dots. Why though? Because he's a crab man. He's a crab infested with barnacles, and I guess that gives him all the dots. Oh, and what's up, Essence? Essence of Kwai. Horror plus stumble Jesus. Yeah, that's his move that he uses if you, uh... He's, he's super slow, he's easy to stun, and he has high HP, so usually the strategy is just to stun him until he's the... He's the only one. And he doesn't cause the stall penalty. So when he's just alone, all he does is is uh, spam that or, or claws people. So he's he's a deadly he's definitely a deadly opponent, but he's controllable. He's like the he's like the stressed version of a chevalier, if you if you think of it like that. Okay, so Okay, let's let's go make him Make him blink some. So I gotta key these. And then I gotta do it at 26 and 32. So barnacles equal ultimate power? I guess so. Maybe that's why I went that maybe that's why I went scraping at the bottom of the ocean so he could become the ultimate ultimate stress dealer. But, but as a price, he's super vulnerable to vulnerable to stun. So sucks to be him, I guess. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's um make these blink appropriately. Barnacle magic, here we go. We had a cult magic, holy magic, and now we have barnacle magic. Blinks like a super slow dude. I don't think, yeah, these aren't even keyed, so I don't have to worry about that. That actually blinks pretty fast, so I'm going to slow that down. But I want this guy to look like he has trouble thinking. And that usually equates to really slow blinking as well, so. Let's turn off offset. Have all, do I have all of them selected? I think so. Why is this moving so much? Oh, it's because I didn't key him at all. That makes sense. Okay. How am I? I'm, I'm doing good, dude. This is going on pretty fast. We've been streaming for about two and a half hours, and, and I'm making really good progress. Uh, whenever you describe those, it sounds like each party will be a, to a comparable power level of four chevaliers, which is fine by me, to be honest. I don't know. It, it's possible to run into four of these dudes, and that would probably just suck. Because <laughs> that'd be like super troll running into four of these guys. Because all they do is spam spam the the stress the stress damage, like the horror, and then shuffle your whole party around constantly. That'd be pretty trolly. But that's super rare, and that's like a one time thing. Like that like if that happens twice in a row, I'd be surprised because the 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 mash encounter table is so huge. But it's likely you'll run into maybe one or two maybe. And they can be in any position. They can be in any position and use that ability. So you could find them in the back rank. You can find them in the front rank. Rank it. The front rank. They're they're a flexible enemy for the for the abyssal dudes. Something about the faces reminding me of the Ood from Doctor Who. Might might just be seeing things though. I don't actually know what the Ood is. I don't watch much. Uh, I watched. Uh, I think I think I watched like the first season of Doctor Who. But there's just there's just so much of it that like I don't have time to. I don't I don't. I don't have the time to like watch everything. I tried to I tried to do that with Supernatural, but I couldn't even get past like the first two seasons. Okay, so now let's let's give him the the derpy eye. Have him blink separately. Okay, I want him to be slightly slightly close to each other be a little bit more I think I even want to slow it down even more I want to make him look like he's having a really hard time controlling that eye of his let's do that let's extend it even more it's gonna take him the whole animation to blink Oh, there he is. He's blinking it up. Will the shield breaker be better in the mod? Oh yeah, dude. There's so many enemies with protection, the shield breaker is gonna freaking destroy them. Like the almost all of these enemies have protection, so the shield breaker will probably destroy those guys. The harpies have like no protection, so the so the shield breaker might have trouble with them. Plus, they have a lot of light resist, so that could negate a lot of their damage. And then the cultist dudes have like a varying amount of protection throughout the uh, throughout their dudes. But the shield breaker should be fine against them as well. I wonder if I wonder if I can make that even slower. 
I, I don't know if I'm going overboard with this, but who cares? We gotta make this character look really challenged. So I think I can make that transition where the eye disappears. I think I can make that smaller, actually. I wonder what happens if I give them all uh, curves. Now that they're actually big enough to where curves could matter, I, I wonder what happens if I would do that. Let's try it. It's <laughs> great. I still want to make that uh, the transition where that disappears uh, quicker. Challenge crab. Yeah. Yeah, shield breaker is gonna wreck the crabs. The crabs are weak to blight, and they almost all of them have uh, protection, so the shield breaker would probably destroy them. But, but then on the flip side, the harpies are resistant and have almost no protection. We'll see. Plus, it's chat. Plus it's champion level, so you have to get it. You got you gotta get a shield breaker to, to champion level first, which means you gotta go through seven nightmares, which is already a pain. But once you get past that, I mean the shield breakers, real shield breakers are really great character. Once you get past all the nightmares, that's the that's the problem though is the freaking nightmares. There we go. I like him. How does he look, chat? Does he look great? Ready for combat? I think I actually want the blinks to be closer together. I think that's the only thing I want. Looks nice, honestly. Cool. With his uh, weird blinking eyes. Actually, I don't want him to be that close. Let's let's move it up frame by frame until I get to a place where I actually really like it. His semi-closing eyes. Where'd it go? Freaking crazy crabs. Maybe I'll. I, I'm just gonna keep going with this. I think I'm gonna make one eye really slow, so he almost like blinks twice with one eye, but the other eye doesn't blink at all. I think that'd be great. Nah, I like this one better. He looks so tired, I don't want to fight him. I think he just needs some sort of, uh, crab person coffee. Yeah, <laughs> he looks tired. <laughs> That's great. That's actually really great. Exposed is going to be great against the Harpies since it gives a uh, speed debuff and a plus crit received. Oh yeah, for sure. A lot of the... Uh, the, some of the Harpy enemies rely on stealth to do a lot of their damage. Brainlit crab. <laughs> Cool. Slow crab is slow. He'll, he'll get you eventually. Okay, I'm gonna mess around with these arms now. Mess around with this one as well. Mr. Krabs, here we go. 
he's a pretty troll enemy, to be honest. But I think that's the best part about it is that this this dude, this like this like lazy eyed crab is gonna wreck your team. I think that's the best part. And he, he doesn't even wreck it like super quick. He he he's like a slow wrecker. Like he just applies a ton of horror to one like a whole bunch of your characters, and then over the course of a few rounds, you're just watching your your teammates go insane fighting this uh this lazy eyed crab. I like those arms, the arm movement's good. If anything, I would probably offset it more, so it doesn't line up as much with the claws, which I'm probably gonna do. Let me think how I can do it though. I'll start up here. That's moving a lot, unfortunately. I'll keep it like that for now. <laughs> Barnacle stress time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's not even aware of what he's trying to do. Until until he eventually like he's like it just clicked in his mind that he's actually supposed to be fighting. That's why he's so slow. Because he's just sitting there, his his mind's just blank. And then it just pops in his head the idea. It's like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be attacking. And then he attacks. That's why he's so slow. Cool crab dude. There's another crab dude. He's 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 like a legitimate crab warrior. And then we got this dude. A little aggressive. Try to see what I can do with these claws. Just trying to get good, uh, good offsets all over the place where I can. I actually like that the eyebrows were moving a lot more earlier when I forgot to put the thing, so I'm going to try experimenting with that. See what I can get. So derpy. I like him though. It's a quirky enemy. Oh, oops. Sorry about that. He's like me in the morning, and then I turn into a harpy at 3 a.m. <laughs> Yeah, e each faction is just a different, uh, a different part of the day for people. <laughs> this is the the crab people are the morning, and then the cultists are like the middle, and then the harpies are at night or something. Okay, let's add uh, really slow breathing controls now.
so great. So great. Probably my favorite crab. Hopefully it'll be uh, people's favorite crabs as well. I think I have three crab enemies for the abyssals. It's like three crabs, three shrimps, and then two others. Yeah, he just looks like he's having trouble. I'm gonna reduce the uh, movement on that. He's so great. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I might even make the eyelids, uh, I might even do it for the eyelids, too. Actually, I'm gonna try it. We're just gonna keep experimenting with this face. I think this is a big, important part of it, the character is this freaking face. No, I like it, I like it better earlier. That's good. Cool character. Okay, so either this breathing is enough or I'm gonna try expanding it to see if I can make it even better. Oh, it's already offset. Never mind then. Maybe I can maybe I can make it work. Okay, let's try it. I like it. I, I like the subtleness of this one. A lot of this is uh, going in a good direction, though. Try some stuff here. Let's try some movement uh, over here as well. So, as he goes up, something like that. Some less movement. I'll have to go and uh, do movement for the legs. That's probably uh, like a big, a big part of this is that I haven't animated the legs yet. So I'll keep it like that and actually work on that now. So all the movements coming from 23. So let's let's animate from there. And is he going up? Yeah, he's going up slightly. Okay. I'm gonna have this one move less. Same with this one. Cool. I gotta do a lot of animations up here. So as he goes up, let's try having this go up as well, actually. 
and then offsetting it. I think it's getting somewhere. I think I want to have it lowered even here. So let's do that. Well, that's definitely a lot of movement. So, less movement. In the opposite direction. Boys getting animated. What are these offset at? Let's put these at twenty, actually. the underbelly uh, claws is really weird, I think. This one? Or this one? Maybe this one. I'll think about it, though. There's still, like, uh, all this I got animate too. Just, like, all this moving around. Let's do these hanging bits now. I think I think it's an okay time to do those. So do them at 20 and then offset them individually. So he's going up like that, so this should swing this way. He should swing the opposite way. Let's make it subtle because he's not really he's not really doing any frantic movements, so it should it should be subtle. The left one, so this one? Okay, I'll I'll go back and look at it once I once I animate all this. I'll just have to offset one of them. And let's 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 do some some stuff up here. They just have to move. That's all I'm aiming for. And I'll go fix whatever moves a little bit too much after. Okay.
Let's see what I can do over here. Instead of moving in, I'll try having it move out. So now I got offset a lot of these. These ones I might actually um, fix. I just have to offset them. Right, so let's do that, I guess. Let's offset these ones. This one. This one. How about this one? Basically, it's supposed to look like underwater kelp. Like, like it's underwater, but it's not, because it's magical magical barnacles. Or at least it's like parasitic barnacles, so they're actually alive, so maybe they're like sticking, sticking kelp thingies up to catch some air, I don't know. I'm going to offset this one. I like that one, I'm gonna try offsetting this one instead. Let's try this one instead then. Now I'll stick to this one then. Maybe I can maybe I can just deal with that. I could just make this one more extreme when it turns. Cool. Actually no. I still want some turn, but I don't want that much turn. There he goes. Try fixing the claw. Let's make these uh, ab ab shell things move as well. Pretty close to done though. Been going for about three hours. That's good. Did I use the right uh, offset on those though? Nah, I used the wrong one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment more with the arms and try a more exaggerated movement. So I'm gonna redo these and try again. Okay, let's do this.
Okay, back up. Let's try again. This time more exaggerated. Or maybe I can make these claws go down. Like uh, the original was. Let's mess around. It's a lot of movement. Okay, so I think that's too much movement, but I'm liking where it's going. Nice to see yet more nightmare fuel. What's up, Dark Raven? How you doing? We're almost done actually animating this thing, which is great. It didn't take that long. That was weird. I like this claws movement. I think this one needs some work though. So let's uh, do some work. So I like this. This one needs some work. I think I have to keep in mind that this one has a lot more barnacles on it, so it's probably heavier for this guy. How different is this to the Uka Crusher besides being more humanoid? Um So it does it's a it's it's pinch attack doesn't inflict a huge bleed like the Uka does. But it's still a sizable bleed, and then I think I'm going to have it do like a speed debuff or a dodge debuff. Depends. It has a vomit attack, so it barbs on people. That's a blight attack plus stress, and then it has a... It's like signature move, which is it uses the barnacles to do like stress. You know, like stressy barnacles. I don't, I don't know. I'll think I'll think about like the, how that's going to look. But basically the barnacles are causing stress to the party, and it does horror plus stumble to one or two uh, party members and then it stumbles itself but the big thing about this character is that he's slow and he's easy to stun he's just really tanky that's the only thing so on turn one or turn one and two if, if you just use stuns he's like zero threat like he doesn't do anything but after that he starts doing um he's, he starts doing like some disruptive stuff to your team pretty good nice Nice one. I'm so pumped for this mod you're making. Thanks, dude. It's uh, it's it's coming along really nicely, actually. Like, I'm getting these uh, weekly streams are helping me keep track of like doing all the animations, which is great. I don't know if that claw movement's too much for some guy who's like super, super high on barnacles, but maybe it's fine. I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm actually gonna try to pull it back. Maybe it'll look better if the claws don't move as much as they do right now. I think that's good. Love your mods. Thanks, dude. Welcome to the stream, Milk Port. We're, we're just about done with this animation, honestly. I think everything's good. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do some more stuff up here to make these move a little bit more, some of them.
But yeah, it's looking good. I like him. Maybe uh, I'm, I'm going to work on these a little bit more. Good. Let's let's uh let's work on these kelp thingies. Oops. Just try to put offsets where I can. Good. This is uh, causing some problems. That's probably why I didn't um, do too much with this one. And now that's moving too much. Easy fix though. Let's try that. It's probably too much movement. That should be good. Making only enemies. Yeah, this this whole mod's gonna be like a big pack of enemies in a new dungeon. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> it's <laughs> I don't know why, but his face looks like he's going to sleep in any moment. Yeah, that's the idea. He's not all there in the brain. Catching your heroes off guard. Eldritch looking eye. <laughs> Do you think there will ever be a CO special too? Definitely. Once I finish this, I'm gonna start working on class mods again. Uh, what's up, uh, Cirque and Shade? Uh, go ahead and give me the suggestion. This is close to done, so any suggestions, give them now. I think maybe maybe these can move some more. I can do that. Let's see what happens if I do that. Will it look good? Let's see how it looks. By the way, was that what was that nun with the with the bell? Oh, that was a character class I was thinking of doing when I was working on Balamia. Because I was I wanted to do a healer for my second one, so I was thinking of different types of healers. And that was one concept I have had was like a religious frontline healer. But uh the the concept itself was a little bit too like too high fantasy for me. Like that was something that's like that's like a character you would see in Warhammer, not not in Darkest Dungeon. But I like the I like the character concept that I did for it. It was cool. Plus it looked a little too much like the Vestal. Uh a mini boss slash boss called the Lake King. Maybe. This uh the, the theme of the whole dungeon is like um Greek Greek slash Roman like a s like a sunken version of Greek uh, like uh Greece or Rome. That's a good way to think of the whole dungeon. So, I guess we have a... There is a king. There is a king boss. Okay, so this is a slow mode version of the shrimp dude. So, it's, it's kind of hard to compare these two side to side until, I, until we see him in game. I think I'm going to delete the crab. This big crab. I, think, I, don't, I don't think we need that anymore.
I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce the movement of these. It's a little ridiculous. I actually think it would open out rather than close in. Let's make that more subtle. Cool. The mod is actually huge, yeah. Can we get not unlucky blondes? No promises, dude. <laughs> so the next batch of heroes will be blondes to get the revenge. Who knows? We'll see. The mod has creatures for every main dungeon. No, this is a this is just a separate dungeon all its on its own. These are all these are all monsters for the dungeon for this dungeon specifically. It's a completely separate place. It's a Naga-looking uh, monster with, who wears aristoc aristocrat clothes, uses a staff slash spear weapon, and has a half-human, half-barnacle woman in the cage. We have a, I have a, um, a concept for like a, a Gorgon character in the works for like a mini boss. That's for later though. I don't really have much in terms of like Nagas though. That's not really like a, a super huge theme that I went with in this dungeon. But it's fine. We'll, we'll see what I come up with. I, there's still a lot of mini bosses I got a concept out that I just have on paper. Okay, I'm just looking at this character and trying to see if there's any details that I missed that I want to animate. But so far it's looking okay. Let's save for the first time. In the whole stream. That was my first save. Low HP and his abilities are mostly stress reducing slash uh, blight infused. Interesting. Stress inducing. Oh yeah, okay. Interesting. We'll see. Spider waifu, the Rachnura for the win. Which one is that one? Rachnura. Is that a is that like a is that like a, a myth like a mythological creature or is it is it from a game I'm not sure save once every three hours yeah of course periodic saves every three hours <laughs> okay I think this character's done though I'm gonna delete this shrimp and then we're we're just gonna look at him without the shrimp on the side let me just make sure I have the effects dot connected correctly which I do there it is. So if he had, if he had, if someone shot an arrow at him and the arrow somehow stayed because of effects dot, the arrow would be right here in his sternum, right there. The bones are pretty complex though for this character. This was super complex. This area right here, I think it worked out. I think it looks good though. Cool. Okay, well I'm gonna export this and then we're gonna see it in the game. That's why it's a mini boss since this area is C type and Lake King is trying to earn favor of actual boss. Interesting. Okay. Okay, guys, let's let's go see this character in game. I'm gonna upload it to a mod real quick, so uh, give me a second while I do that. Uploading now. Okay. So I'm downloading the mod now, and then we can check it in game and see Dismiss and Reynold get wrecked by crabs. Also, King uses poisons and his victim is the stress inducer. Interesting. There's a plant-like enemy you made for this mod. Is there a plant-like enemy you made for this mod? Kind of like a mushroom, the Virago summon, but attack and stuff. 
No, I don't have uh, any like uh, specifically like plant type enemies. It's mostly um, like gladiator gladiator esque monsters, and then um, these these like crustaceans. That's that that's like all the enemies in there are like crustaceans and gladiators. How many left to animate? There's a whole bunch left to animate. We've done. This is the fourth one we've done, and I'm planning. How many was it? 24 basic enemies and a whole bunch of mini bosses. So there's plenty left for me to animate, and most of it I'm probably going to animate off stream because it's uh, a lot of it's going to take a long time, and I don't think I can animate. Some of the bosses are too complex to animate in one whole stream. It would take like eight hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing new curios as well. I have those. I might, I might animate a curio on stream. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I don't think a curio is as, as interesting as a character to animate though. We have 40 monster, monsters uh, total. The plant on his back is weed. Yeah, because he's yeah he's he's high on high on barnacle weed. That's like uh this is like the stoner of the 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 eldritch monstrosities. This is the stoner one. And he's gonna wreck your day. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop playing this since the since the mod should be downloaded by now. We can go we can go test that out. Let's go test it out. Four hour stream. That's fine. We don't mind. Well. Uh, I don't think I don't think I'll have the energy to do an eight-hour stream, just like straight up animating. I think I think I'm fine doing these, just like little little three to three to four-hour streams. I think those are fine for me. I can handle that. <laughs> Curios have animations. Well, some of them do. Like some of them are like uh, like uh, characters you can interact with. You know, like like the shrews from the courtyard. Okay, let's go. Okay. And finally, if you kill his slave, he enrages and gains skill chain and so of sorrow, which he can use to control a character of yours, but chain but spawns a chain monster that does nothing. But if killed, the victim come back to target and has three turn cooldown. Interesting. I I always wanted to make a mod, just don't have the patience or skill. It's, uh, mod making is literally all patience, though. It, I mean, there's obviously skill in terms of like drawings and stuff like that, but that's that stuff you can gain, gain, gain over time. So then it just comes back to like the whole patience thing. You just gotta be patient with yourself. I was kidding. I couldn't even begin to get how stressful eight hours of animating would be and having to deal with chat. It's all fine. Chat's not that bad, honestly. It's just you know, like eight hours. That's a that's that's a pretty long time. I got things to do. <laughs> yeah, the creatures like that I'll probably have to break up into like um bits. Oh, there he is. He turns into they turn into groupers when they attack. Just so you guys know, that's their special power. It's the barnacles kicking in. I think it's a cool suggestion. Um, unfortunately, I already have a lot of things already planned, so I don't think I don't think I can add any more to it. It's cool though; I like it. Okay, well there he is, guys. There's the Barnacle Man with his slow blinking next to the next to the the, the base game crab. Fits right in as always. Thanks, dude. Love him. Okay. No problem with the suggestion yet. Yet. Okay. Uh, I have to ask you about how to make sounds. It's it's actually really simple. The barnacle ones look either drunk or high. That's great because that's that that's what I want to go for is that this character does not look like he's ready for combat at all. He he's he's supposed to look like even if he's not surprised he looks surprised, which is great. He's not all there, dude. He's mostly he's mostly barnacles now. Drunk and high, yeah. High on high on barnacles, drunk on salt water. Sounds good. Okay, well that's that's gonna do the do it for the stream, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's uh ended up being shorter, which was expected because this character is in super complex to animate. It, the most complicated part was this, and that actually didn't end up giving me any troubles. 
Um, if you enjoyed any part of the streams, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, I'm going to be streaming again next week. Uh, let me check uh, what the thing is. Yeah, so next week I'm going to be streaming and animating like a gladiator character with like a shield and uh, like a, a Cestus. What's up, Claire? Uh, can we see his attack? Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, let's let's let's. Let's let let's let him go. He's speed two. He's level. He's a level three monster. He's a champion level monster with speed two. He's as fast as the the big crab. He's gonna turn into a grouper again. Either the grouper or the octopus. I don't know which one. We'll see which one he does. Clammy canker. So that's the barf attack. He just barfed on him. Just barfed on Dismas and applied a blight. Dang it! I missed it. Well, okay, so Dismas is going to die if I keep going, <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to keep going. But yeah, thanks for tuning into the stream. Consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll be here next week uh, animating that gladiator dude. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.